Hey guys, it's me, the Gator Gamer, and today I'm going to show you how to make the best free modded vanilla or plug-in Minecraft server. Now, I've tried many uh, different server hosting, free server hosting systems like Minehut or... I forget the other one, what the other one's called, but the only one so far... I did some research before the video too. The only one so far I've found that actually supports mods has been Altanos. And also runs a lot better than some of the alternative server hosting, in my experience. I used to be, I wouldn't say that. A few years ago I tried Altanos and it wasn't that good. But Altanos has gotten a lot better recently. Well... I don't know how recently, but they got a lot better at some point. And that is exactly why I'm recommending it. Anyways, guys, let's get right into the t tutorial. Okay, guys, the first thing you want to do is you go to altanos.org. The link is in the description. And once you're there, you'll see a play button right at the bottom right of the page. You press on that and you log in. I don't have to log in since I'm already logged in. But once you log in, you'll be taken to a page similar to the one I'm showing here. The only difference should be this button in the middle will be slightly different. But pretty much you press on that button, right? And once you're there, it'll take you to uh, this page and you go straight, most importantly, to the bottom left of the page and turn on dark mode. Most important step. Very important. And after doing that, you go to software and you download the software you want. This could be Forge or Fabric for modded or any of these for plugins or if you want a Minecraft snapshot or vanilla, there's vanilla. And I'm gonna go for a plugin. The process for downloading both a plugin and mod is almost exactly the same. So I'll kind of explain to you the difference as we go. Anyways, after selecting the version you want, if you want paper or fabric or what, you go here and you hit install. Once that's done, you'll see a button here that'll say either plugin or mods, or it won't be there if you just got a vanilla version. And you hit that. And right here you can search for whatever plugin or mod you want. I don't, I usually either download vanilla or Forge. And with Forge, I haven't ever had a mod not be on here that I wanted. If it's not here, it's probably not updated for the version of Minecraft you want. I'm just gonna get Gsit in this case, just because it is a nice plugin. And you download it, download the latest version of the mod. Only the ones that work with your version of Minecraft will show up here, so you shouldn't run into any issues with that. It makes the experience really easy. Once you do that, you go to world, and you can make, generate, or upload the world. Come on. I'm clicking on you. There you go. So, so like I said, you can either upload the world or generate a world. You, and you can upload either a folder or a zip. But today, we're going to generate a world. And here are all the options. I'm just going to leave it all default and generate that world. After doing that, you can go to options, and you can choose a server name. I'm gonna leave it all default, and the rest of these options, they have options like how many slots, the difficulty, if you want to allow cracked players, which basically are people who got Minecraft for free, uh, and then or enable or disable command blocks. I would recommend enabling them. Especially if you're downloading a Minecraft map or something. And same with fly. I will leave that on. 
And that's really the main options. You can see the vest right here. After doing that, I would go to the server and start the server. Before doing that, if you ever want to, like, delete your server completely, start from scratch, go to configure your server, right here. Wait, no, uh, that's not right. It's, go to, I swear it's configure your server. Oh, right here, yeah, reinstall. And that will uh, allow you to completely delete everything. Anyways, let's go ahead and start the server now. And once the server starts, it generates except the ULA. Uh, this, the files were load and generate, right? And the files will look similar to normal Minecraft files, like... So it'll be pretty self-explanatory. If you ever added a resource pack or something, you probably don't have to mess with this. Unless you want to delete any mods. Which actually I might show you how to do it once the server loads. Since this is the first time the server is loading, it'll take longer than normal. And you hear that? You'll have a little ring and that means the server has started. I'm going to go ahead and stop the server now. Just so I can show you how to uninstall a plugin. There we go. And pretty much let's go to files. And go to uh, plugins. If you do like forge or something, it'll say mods instead. You go there and you can uninstall your mods just by hitting this trash can icon. But I'm not going to do that now. And you can also delete your worlds here by uh, just hitting the delete button. Pretty self-explanatory. Something I quickly almost forgot is um, you're going to want to go to software. I mean uh, players right here. And you're going to want to op yourself. Very important. You can also edit whitelists and ban players, but today I'm just gonna add myself as op. And then, thanks to that, you can run commands and do op stuff. Anyways, uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and hop on the server. Okay, I've opened Minecraft. Let's quickly add the server. And here we are. Now, it has roughly a two-minute timer, I think. If no one joins the server, or if no one's on the server, it'll turn off the server. <laughs> this is a pretty boring island. But anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Maybe check out my Discord server it, for little sneak peeks. Or if you want to interact with your fellow viewers. But anyways guys, thanks for watching. Bye!